Hi Year 12s, today we're looking at the second PowerPoint in the homeostasis topic for the SACE topic of homeostasis. We're going to be looking at the nervous system today and this PowerPoint is going to be split across two different videos. The first one is the nervous system in general itself and the second one will be looking at neurons. So let's start our in-depth look at the nervous system. As per usual, here's your need to know. How many more of these? Um, I'm not going to leave you time in the video to note these down. So if you'd like to write them down, pause the video here and write them down. <laughs> these need to know will cover the both videos. So there will be no need to know in the next video as well. So. What is the nervous system? Well, the nervous system is a series of cells that communicate messages across the body via electrical signals that we call nerve impulses. The nervous system is responsible for detecting, sorry, detecting and responding to stimuli that occur in both the internal and the external environments of an organism. The central nervous, sorry, the nervous system is broken up into two different parts, the peripheral nervous system and the central nervous system. The central nervous system is basically just your brain and your spine, and its purpose is to process the sensory information and send nerve impulses to effectors in the body to initiate a response. Whereas your peripheral nervous system is every nerve cell that's not in your brain or spine. It's like the add-ons of the nervous system. Their entire purpose is to respond to sensory information and transmit that information to the brain and the spinal cord for processing. Peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system is actually made up of two different parts, the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. All animals, including humans, need to gather information about their surroundings, and that's what the somatic nervous system does. It gathers around information about the environment through your sensory organs. It's also responsible for coordinating body movement in the body. The autonomic nervous system, on the other hand, is responsible for all the actions that happen in your body without you realizing it. So breathing or your heart beating. These are all actions of the autonomic nervous system. Again, the autonomic nervous system is broken up into two different parts, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is the part of your nervous system that will speed up your body and make it more efficient. The way to remember that is that sympathetic starts with S and so does speed. So S, sympathetic, speeds up the body's functions. The sympathetic nervous system can do a number of different things, including divert blood away from the digestive tract in the skin, stop peristalsis, which is basically the food moving up and down your esophagus or in your intestines. It can maintain blood flow to the lungs and the muscles of your skeleton, which means that blood flow may increase up to 120%. It opens up the bronchioles to increase your supply of oxygen, which is going to increase the amount of aerobic respiration, which is going to increase the amount of energy you have in your body. It increases the heart rate so that your blood flow flows faster to your skeleton from your lungs. It dilates the pupils to improve how far you can see. And it increases blood flow to the heart so that you're constantly being, basically just beating blood around the body. The parasympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, slows down your body. And this is the type of nervous system that takes over while you're asleep, for example. Um, again, to remember this, parasympathetic. Parasympathetic slows down your body. Paralyzed is obviously being at heart, not able to move. So slow down, not able to move, para. There we go. The parasympathetic nervous system can increase blood flow to your digestive tract. It can increase the rate of peristalsis. It can reduce the number or the diameter of the bronchioles. It can control your heartbeat and it reduces the diameter of your pupil because none of those processes are really important when you're slowing down your body for rest. Um, over here is a bit of a breakdown of the nervous system. So we start with the nervous system, breaks down into the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. I'm going to ignore this one over here. The peripheral nervous system then breaks up into the somatic nervous system, which is gathering information about your surroundings, and the autonomic nervous system. And the autonomic nervous system is everything that happens without you actively thinking about it. So your heart rate, your breathing, etc. 
The autonomic nervous system is broken down into two more parts, the sympathetic nervous system and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system speeds up your body functions, whereas the parasympathetic speeds down, uh, slows down your nervous system and your body in order for things like sleep. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going. We don't need roads. Roads. <laughs>